here's how you use a spreadsheet to put your data in um, to find a best fit quadratic curve. So I have found that it is very helpful for making your graphs in Google if you leave the first column empty or number it with what data point it is. For some reason, that helps Google's auto-fitting algorithms make the right kind of graph for you. So, my other two columns are time and position. I'm using meters and seconds, respectively, to the right label, because that's what we want to find our acceleration. So, so I'm going to go through and put my times in. There's a couple ways you could do this. You'll notice that if you put in just 1 60th, whenever you have a number that's over here, it means that this cell is treating this like text. That always makes me nervous instead of it being treated like a number and aligning it to the right. So if you want this to be turned into a decimal, which we always use in here, you press the equals button and then type in your fraction. The spreadsheet is a calculator. It'll calculate that decimal for you. So you can go through and do that for each of your numbers. Or if you're lazy like me, you can do a formula for that. You press equals. I want data point 3 divided by 60. And that formula I can copy and paste into all of the cells here. And oops, I'll get a nice um, automatically filled data set for me. Now I'm going to put on the measurements from my slip of paper. I measured them in millimeters because they were very, very small. But I'm going to convert those numbers into meters. So everything is divided by 1,000. So my numbers are... Da -da -da -da. Oops, oh, too many. Oh, nope, zero on that one. All right, so there's my data. And I don't need these extra points, so I'm going to get rid of them so there's less to confuse the computer. So now I have my complete data table here. I'm going to select the data that I want to use, go to the insert button or menu above, and I'm going to insert a chart. Um, because the internet is intelligent, um, Google tries to create this beautiful bar graph for you, which is definitely not what you want. So I'm going to... What? Seriously? My chart editor is off the screen? Well, that doesn't help me. So I'm going to move my chart over here and move my recording screen. I have no idea what that will look like when I'm done. That's hysterical. Now I'm going to edit some things here. First, my data. I don't want a column chart. I want a scatter plot. You'll see immediately that made a huge difference. And I've got already, I can see that, see that slight curve in my data there. So I'm going to go over to the customize part of my chart editor. I'm going to customize the series. I'm going to put a trend line on there that is polynomial because this is a quadratic equation. And I want to label it with the equation that the spreadsheet will solve for me. 